Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel and I am doing my skincare collection. Finally, this was supposed to be done in 2018, I put it off, I put it off, so here I am. Um, I have purged some things, I've given some things to my daughter to use that I wasn't using, but st were good products, I just wasn't using them, so I figured I'd give them to somebody who would use them. Um, I try to only buy like backups, like when I'm running out of something, buy a replacement for it. I haven't really tried too many new things in the last few months. Um, there is like this oil that I'll show you that I've tried, um, and then this micellar water that I tried like maybe late October of last year, but I haven't really bought anything, you know, too new. So um, I keep them in my bathroom. I always hear that you shouldn't keep skincare in the bathroom. I don't know why. I mean, where else am I supposed to keep it? But um, I keep it in two drawers. These dividers I got from Amazon, they're supposed to go straight, but they're too long, so I put them diagonal to kind of keep things separated, even though I kind of just drop things back in the drawer, whatever. But anyway, um, let's start right here. This is Sun & Park Beauty Water, Asian brand. Korean. Um, I love this because I can use it in the morning as a quick cleanser and it's a toner in one. This is my second bottle, Sephora for 30 bucks. Or um, I would go to Soko Glam and buy it. Stay away from Amazon when it comes to skincare products because you never know what you're getting. Like I would either go to the store or go to SokoGlam.com. It's a Korean um, website and they sell Korean skincare. I have Vichy. Um, my cellar water, cleansing water, and a toner. It's a three-in-one. I really love this stuff. I plan on getting another bottle when I run out, get it at Target. Vichy is one of my favorite skincare companies. They're a little pricey, but they work. Toner I've been using uh, that I really love is called Lumine. It is from Finland. And as you can see, I really love this toner. I use it during the day. Um, this, I haven't opened it up yet. This is by Sue AE, which is sold at Walmart or Sue AE. It's a, there's a website you can go to. But Walmart um, has a little bit of Korean skincare for very, very cheap. I love this. It's the same as the Sun and Park Beauty Water, um, but it has charcoal in there. And charcoal is good for getting like the toxins out of your skin. And I have this. This was given to me in a giveaway, Paula's Choice BHA Liquid. Um, I haven't really used it a ton. I need to do more research like on the, you know, BHA stuff to figure out like is, is it something I need to incorporate into my skincare routine. Okay, over here, this is something I just picked up not that long ago. It is by Sue AE. It is a cleansing oil. Oil is like your first step to cleansing. You would do an oil um, cleanse and then you will wash your face. Like especially if you're wearing makeup, it gets that first layer of dirt off of your face. Oil is really good for your face, even if you're oily. This is my favorite face wash by Neutrogena. It is um, the Hydro Boost. I love the Hydro Boost line. So yeah, it's like one of my favorites. I have some Mario Badescu cleansing lotion. There is like some controversy about the steroids that are put in there. I've never had a problem with breakouts or it irritating my skin. So do your research, you know, figure out if it's something for you or if it's something you wanna stay away from. I'm not gonna tell anybody to go out and buy it, but it does work for me. This is a Mario Badescu glycolic gel. It's supposed to help with like blackheads and everything. I've used it a couple of times. I don't really have a problem with blackheads. Another Mario Badescu product is this drying lotion. You put it on like your a pimple overnight and after a couple of days it shrinks it. Um, this is an ampule. Ampule is like a booster for your skin, so like hydration. I got this at Target. I'm gonna focus. It's like 32 bucks, but I like it. My skin feels very hydrated. Here is a um, cleanser that I like. It is by Garnier. It is the Deep Pore Facial Cleanser. Vegan formula if you care about that stuff, but it comes with a pump. Really, really do like that. This was something that was sent to me, and it's the Oxygen Bubble Face Mask called the best brand by a brand called Graymelin. And you put it on and it bubbles up, and I put this on like before I cleanse my face. Back here is Pixie Glow Mud Cleanser. This is a great morning cleanser. I don't do a full on face wash in the morning because I do it at night, but if you want to wash your face in the morning with something gentle, this Glow Mud Cleanser is really good. 
Over here is something I really like. It's by Olay. It's a micellar water. And micellar water is great, like, after you take off, you know, all the dirt. Once you cleanse your face, this is great for getting, um, like, makeup off any dirt. It's not a toner. Toner helps with hydration and helps with acne and everything on my cellar just gets all the dirt off. So they're, di they're different. This is a toner I recently, I got at Target a couple months ago. Um, I haven't used it a ton, as you can see, but it's by Nature Republic and it's cruelty free. So I really need to do, use it more to see if I actually like it. This is one of my Holy Grail products. It's the most expensive face product I have. It's by Misha. It's called First um, the first treatment essence and essence is good. It helps re helps regenerate skin cells um, Come in smoother. I wouldn't say it's something you have to have in your collection I would say if you had to have anything get you a good cleanser get a good toner get a serum get a moisturizer and some SPF Essence are great. I love them for me. It's a must-have, but you don't have to have it in your collection um, This is pixies retinol tonic retinol is good for um, replenish the skin, antioxidants and everything. So I would use this like after a toner. And I do have um, Glow Tonic. I just ran out of my bottle. So this is a brand new one. I use this at night. And it's a toner. And this is the Rose Tonic. Um, if you, I like the Rose Tonic for the daytime. So if you want something a little bit more gentler than the Glow, um, than the glow Tonic, use the Rose Tonic. And I have a backup over there. And here's a um, toner I got from CVS. It's called Aquablast by Ariel. So yeah, this is a brand. This is a toner I take with me on vacations. It's in a spray bottle. It's by the brand number seven. And I like it because I spray it on my face and then rub it in. And this is, I need to kick up some more, but it's one of my favorite exfoliators. It's Peel and Polish by Pixie. Love, love, love it. So that is that drawer down there. And let's do this right here. Okay. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. Okay, this is Laneige Sleeping Mask. I've been using Laneige Sleeping Mask for a good two years now. I love it. You put it on at night, you rinse it off your face in the morning, and it feels amazing. Okay, let's put this over here. This is by Misha. It is the Super Aqua Snail Renewal Cream. Yes. It's Renew Cell Cream. It does have the snail extract in there. This is a booster. I put it on before I put on my moisturizer. I absolutely love it. It's a little pricey. I got it at Target. I love the packaging. It just works. This is my third jar. Um, right here, this is by a brand called Mascology. 24 karat gold cream. It has little gold flakes in it, but it's not too noticeable. This is a good um, cream to put on the daytime to seal in it moisture. And this is something by, this is the 24 karat gold line from Mascology. These are the under eye um, gel pads. Looks like this, has a little scoop. And there's little gel pads in there that you put underneath your eye. There we go. And this is 24 karat gold serum. My daughter, I got my daughter, she was using mine, she took mine, so I got another one, but I really do like this stuff. I've been using it for about four weeks now, and I really like it. It's cheap, it's 12 bucks, got it at Walmart. And serum is good for hydration, for red line, you know, for fine lines, for redness. It just really, really helps your skin. This is um, Natanola, this is Skin Discoloration Cream. I use this twice a day for my upper lip, and it's finally working after like three and a half months of using it consistently. This is the um, creamer moisturizer I've been using in the daytime, and this is my Make Prim. It's a um, feels like a cream, but goes on like a water-based moisturizer. I really do love it. This is my second jar of this L'Oreal um, Revita Lift. I first got it in an influencer package, and I loved it so much that I bought one, and I really like it. Like I don't need help lifting anything, but I love the way it feels on my skin. Some people have said they don't like it because it has a scent. It doesn't bother me too much. Um, this is my night cream by Vichy. I do plan on getting a bigger one once this runs out. I really do like it. Um, I have some Vichy eye cream. I'm not a real fan of eye cream. I, they don't, I don't feel like they do anything for my eyes. Like, I don't have dark circles and I don't have, like, you know, dryness underneath my eyes. So, I, I did like how it felt on my eyes, but I don't feel like I need eye cream. So, that's in there. This is my all-time favorite serum. This is Vichy Idelia. And I really do love it. This is my my second or third bottle. I'm not sure. But yeah. This is my Pixie 
Sun Mist. Um, it's SPF 30. I like this. It really works. It doesn't leave a white cast over makeup either. This is a retinol. Like I said, I need to see, like, this is a cream somebody sent to me. Haven't really used it. I need to do some research on, like, retinols and BHA liquids and all that stuff. Um, this is by Misha, too. This is Super Aqua line, again. And this is a sleeping mask. It's like a cream sleeping mask, not a water base. I like it for, like, a nighttime moisturizer. This is one of my favorite moisturizers, as you can see. I got a backup under the cabinet. It's the L'Oreal, you can't really tell, but it's the L'Oreal Hydrogenius. I really, really do love this. It's water-based. It just really feels good on my skin. This is another Vichy product. It is the Mineral 89. I got a small one in an influencer package once, and I love it. It's a booster. Same as the Misha one I showed you, the Snail Renewal Cream. And it just, I put this on right before my moisturizer, and I just really like it. This is a Maskology eye cream. Like I said, I don't really care for eye creams too much. Um, what else? I do have this oil. I don't really use face oils. This is like my only face oil that I have. You can put this on, mix it in with your moisturizer, all that good stuff. And my battery's getting ready to die. I will come right back. Okay, and we're back. My battery is charged. <laughs> okay, so I was talking about this oil. Oil is good to add to a moisturizer to seal in all of that moisture and this is by number seven we don't want to focus but it's by number seven you can get number seven at Target and what else do we have in here um, I have I love sprays um, I buy sprays all the time I may not even use it a lot but I don't know it's something that just keeps me buying it this is by Fig and Yarrow I got it at Target they usually have this around the holidays and so this is orange blossom lavender complexion water um, a mist for your face is good because like a shock of hydration for your face. It feels great in the summertime. Even use it in the winter when your face is feeling dry. It's just like, you know, give your face a touch up during the day. I have a few pixie sprays. This is the glow mist. This is the real popular one. You shake it up because it's oil and water and it gives you a glow on your face. And you can get all this pixie stuff at Target. I do have the vitamin wake up mist, which is great for the morning because you get your vitamin... I think it's your vitamin D because it has the orange in here. Yeah. Here's the Sue AE Mist. I love a rose water mist. Got this at Walmart. And as you can see, it's not very organized in here. Makeup Fixing Mist. This is like, just fixes your makeup. And this is the Milky one, which is good for nighttime. The Hydrating Milky Mist. And what else is in here? Um, I have this Laneige. I haven't bought Laneige products in a while because it's at Sephora. And Sephora is not close to my house. And I can see that I can order online, but I don't know. This is the Water Bank Moisture Cream. Laneige is what introduced me to getting into skincare. I had a lot of Laneige products from Target, and they work really well. They are a little pricey, but they work. And the packaging is really, really great. So I do believe that is it as far as my skincare goes. Yes, uh, I used to have a lot more than this. Like I said, I have um, purged quite a bit of stuff. And I will, in a probably in a few weeks, go through everything and see, am I using this, am I not using this, and get rid of it. I kind of want to condense it some more. I really want to just use the products that I really, really love and just keep it like that because when you keep on buying skincare products over and over again, especially as someone, I'm not like a skincare blogger or anything, I'm not an expert, so I don't need to keep trying new things. I want to just keep the things that I know work for me and just buy those when I run out. That way I don't spend a ton of money on things that may not work. So yes, that is my skincare collection video. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you have any skincare questions and I can answer them, please ask and I can either tell you the answer or I can do some research for you. I love helping people that want to get their skin together. So yeah, uh, I'm going to get out of here. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. Bye.